اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now that you have installed R and R Studio, let's start using R for developing our basic models. Now this is your R script file or this is where you write your R script and this is the console where you will see the output. Let's assume you open your R Studio and there is nothing like this. So what's the first step? You need to go to file and create a new project click here new directory new project and where do you want to serve it and i'm going to name it let's say first and open let's name it my first sem model click create project and now the project is created now what we need to do after the project is created we need to write script file for our program so what we need to do is we'll go to file new file our script and here is your script in the project my first scm model and how to save it just click save document and it will take you to your folder where you can name it and save your file let's say i name it my first scm and i click save so here is your script file and now we are going to write our first r script so before doing that as i normally do let's go and discuss some theory now understanding sem in r package now sem in r is a software package that is developed for the r statistical environment so you can use the sem package in your r statistical environment and what it does is it helps you create your structural equation models now it is open source and this means that you can inspect modify and enhance the source code users of seminar obviously they can interact with the developers uh, somya ray and nicholas tanks on their group the link will be shared in the description The seminar syntax enables applied practitioners of PLS SCM to use terminology that is very close to their familiar modeling terms that is you can have reflective models you can have composite models you can have you can have interactions you can have moderators you can have formative models and you can do a lot of different stuff that you've been doing with smart PLS Now how do you install it we've talked about this in the previous lecture as well just go to install.packages and write sem in r and this will install it otherwise you can do it from the tools as well or maybe the dialog box and then you have to load the library make sure you load the library otherwise you won't be able to use it now how do you do this let's go step by step rather than just copying and pasting all this particular code we are going to go step by step since it's installed let's load the library first so here is a comment loading the library now this actually is a comment this doesn't run the software won't run it the r language its processor won't run it is just to tell the reader what the code does so in this case let's write library and i'm interested in loading sem in r so what you can do is just double click it and it will obviously we add it now this is very small the text is very small so what we can do is we can go to view and zoom in so you can further enhance it make it more readable that's it you can change it to actual size as well if you want but for now i think this is good enough now this is how you load your sem in r library now once loaded Let's go to our next step. The next step is developing your model. Now there are four steps to specify and estimate a structural equation model in SEM in R. You should load and clean your data. You should specify your measurement model and this step is done to assess the reliability and validity of the constructs. Next is to specify the structural model. Obviously then you want to assess the structural relationship between different constructs and finally we estimate our measurement model that we have specified we bootstrap so that we can get the significance and finally we can summarize our model 
Now, these are the steps that we follow in SEM in R. Now, this is obviously done in one go when we are doing it in Smart PLS. We do not need to separately specify our measurement model, structural model, and then we simply run our PLS algorithm or bootstrapping. But in seminar, we have to do it individually. Now I'm going to look into detail how to do each of these steps. Step one, we have to load and clean the data. Now there are other ways to clean the data once we know that there are errors in our data. Now there is a mechanism to screen and clean the data. There is a whole video on the channel on how to screen and clean the data, how to deal with missing values. The links will be shared in the description. Now, step one. When estimating a PLS SCM model, SEM in R expects that you have loaded your data into an object. Now, what happens is, in order to estimate a PLS SCM model, we need our data in an object. Now, that object is called a data frame or this object is usually a data frame a class object. We do not need to go into detail as to what it is or how it works. We simply need to understand the syntax as to how to load our data. Now, in order to load the data, we need to use this CSV function. The read.csv function allows you to load data into R if the data is in CSV format or text format. Note that there are other packages that can help you load data in Excel format or other popular formats. For the sake of this whole session or this series, we are going to use comma separated value version. Now CSV are file or text file whose lines contain data of each subject or case of your data set. Now the values are typically separated by commas. That's why it's called comma separated values. But they can also be separated by other characters like semicolon. Now the first line actually contains your variable names and the lines afterwards contain all the values to the corresponding variables. Thus, a variable will have its name in the first row and its value will be in the following lines of data in the same position. You can use many software packages like Excel or SPSS to export data in CSV format. Here is step one and here is the code that we are going to use to load data into an object and the object is data. So our data file will be loaded onto this data object. So how do we do this? So the function that we are going to use to load our data file is read.csv and it takes these arguments. You have to specify your file. You have to specify that the header is variable names and you have to specify the separator is comma. And once it reads this data file, this data file is stored in this particular object. How do we do this? We have already done or we have already loaded the library. Now we are going to load the data. But look at this. There is no complete location because this script file and the data file are in the similar or same directory. Now let's go and look at this. Now here is my project file, but there is no data file. So I need to add my data file there so that it doesn't give me an error. So let's say, let's, let's run it with, without the data file in the directory and see the error because we need to understand what errors we get. We need to understand the errors that we might face so that we understand okay this is the error this is what it means so let's copy it right click copy edit paste what i'm doing now is i'm loading the data and i'm using read.csv function that takes file as an argument header as an argument and separator as an argument and once this file is read it is loaded into this particular data object now how do we run it let's run it run and see it gives an error why there is no such file or directory because this data file is not in the same folder as this dot r file so you need to put in this data file there otherwise what you can do is you can give a complete 
address like this like this here so let's use this for now and let's add it copy and I've changed the name from data to data s so let's see if we can now here it is now let's run this code so select the code run it no error so there is no problem in reading this data file into this object now this file here is loaded into this object now how do i know that this file has been loaded correctly what i can do is i can further check how to check let's have a look now once you have loaded the data then you will have to check for your data now inspect the loaded data that the correct number of columns indicators rows observations and column headers are loaded note that seminar uses a static character when naming interaction term as used in for example moderation analysis so please ensure that asterisks are not present in the indicator names make sure that asterisks is not part of the indicator names because this is later used for moderation analysis duplicate indicator names will also cause error finally missing values should be represented with a missing value indicator that is minus nine nine which is commonly used so that they are appropriately identified and treated as missing values moving on now how do you inspect it, the data so in order to inspect the data what you need to do is you just need this here so this is your comment so this is a function head and this is the argument data now in our case let's run it and see if we get an error copy come here let's run it now will we get an error yes we are going to get an error because the data is loaded in this object data s and this is just the data so you have to write data s now run the file okay you do not need to rerun the whole thing again and again you just if if this has been done properly as it was you just need to run this function here that's it look at this now is this fine here and look at this here in the environment were there 344 341 observations yes were there 78 variables yes so the data loaded fine all the variables names fine everything looks fine now we can move on and go to our next step